I think when America joined the IMO in the early 70s, I think, then like everything that America does, it, it creates a splash. So most uh, countries started to come in. In terms of recognition, so if you win a medal, I think in physics or I don't think you would get an admission in MIT or, or Oxford or whatever. Whereas if you get a medal in the Math Olympiad, you would get admission. The other good thing about having the young people who are observers who are along with the team is that after about uh, dinner, let's say 9, 30, 10, they'll go and play some poker or something, you know. So I don't understand the rules of these games, but they'll play from maybe 9.30 or 10 till 1. In fact, the joke uh, about the Chinese team goes this way, that if you take the Chinese from the American team and the Chinese team, you take their pictures, you jumble them, and then you ask somebody, sort the Chinese team and the American team. It's going to be a very tough task. <laughs> the American Chinese are better than the Chinese Chinese. Huh? That's what it looks like from this year. But it's not true. Like last year, it was the other way around. Chinese Chinese were better than the American Chinese. <laughs> my, my maths teacher had a joke that there, there will be a time when mothers will sing a lullaby to their kids saying, Sign Theta by Cosina. <laughs> <Scandinavian." laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> In Vietnam, if you win a medal, I think the government gives you a house or something, you know? Wow. I couldn't believe it when I said, when I heard it. Then I asked this guy, Arjun, no? Are you okay and all? He said, Sir, you said I was a little I and he didn't see the internet. So actually he said entirely in the flight. Statistics is not mathematics, but mathematical statistics is statistical mathematics. 